This is just a, a quick video to show you that you can actually um, do quite a bit more things with this pressure gauge than you want to. If you notice here, I've not got a scale under my cup. I'm going to bring the lever down and I'm going to try and film what goes on. So I'm pre-infusing at the moment. And this works whether the coffee's very fine or a little bit coarse, it doesn't matter. Wait to see the odd drip into the cup. There we go, let it out. Now, I'm going to watch the pressure gauge. I like to get about 35 grams out. I've already teared out this cup, so I can know um, what the weight of espresso is because the cup reads zero on the scales. And I'm going to wait until I get to seven bar on the display. And as soon as I get to seven bar, I'm going to move the cup away. And it's surprisingly accurate um, to wait. So there's seven bar. Away goes the cup. I might have been a fraction late. And then if we look here on the scales, 36.31. I was a fraction late because I was trying to video. Um, but what it is, it's actually, uh, as the piston moves, it's very, very reliable what the pressure's showing on there, down to about six or uh, five and a half bar. It's quite a reliable indicator of uh, weight and volume of espresso in the cup. So you don't actually need to use a scale if you don't want to. So I have another weight without scales video. See if I can get a bit more accurate this time. Pull the lever down. <clears throat> Wait for a couple of drips of espresso. There you go. Now again, what I'm waiting for is 7 bar. This time I'm going to try and get it more accurately. The last time I did it, I was out by 1 gram because I didn't quite pull it out at 7. Um, I'm, I'm filming. So let's see if we can weigh without scales. And just come to 7 bar now and let's see what we got 35.56 grams I wanted 35 I'm half a gram out 18 grams in